This is Gene Delisio with a featured sports interview from WDLB and WOSQ. Tammy Heckel was a three-sport athlete at Marshfield High School between 1977 and 1981, competing in tennis, basketball, and softball. Tammy was especially talented in tennis, earning a berth in the WIAA State Tournament each year between 1978 and 1981, placing sixth in the singles portion of the tournament as a senior. Tammy was inducted into the Marshfield Tiger Athletic Hall of Fame in 2006. Wow, it's, uh, it's pretty humbling, actually. An amazing group of athletes and uh, Coach Kaplin included. Uh, i speechless, actually. I just feel very, very fortunate to have been nominated and to be actually inducted is amazing. Well, you certainly had a great career at Marshfield High School. Can you kind of think of some highlights for us, some things that stand out in your mind as some of the top moments in your career? career? Oh, the highlights almost all surround the fact that people underestimated what I could do. I, um, I'm a small gal on the tennis court and I'm pretty unimposing and, and especially one when I went to state and I was playing a young lady from uh, a Milwaukee school and she just thought she was going to beat me off the court in about 35 minutes and uh, she was shocked when the, it was over. I had beaten her 6-1, 6-1 and, and she was awestruck. She was like, she usually placed in state a lot higher and she was like huh what just happened to me well you had a great tennis career and that primarily was I guess your number one sport you went to state four consecutive years I understand as a state tennis player tell us about your game what made you a successful tennis player (laughs) my game in tennis is always to get the ball back one more time than the opponent and it sounds so simple but that's what it was and I didn't mind hitting against hard hitting players soft hitting players it was just a matter of sticking with uh, that plan um, and usually people would get very frustrated they really just didn't want to play against me and I think that they would uh, start making a lot of their own errors I wasn't necessarily the greatest player out there but I let them kind of implode a little bit how did you first get involved in tennis and develop your skills the way I got into tennis is we had a call from then mayor Marilyn Hardiker I was 13 and they were running a tennis tournament in Marshfield and they needed another player and I had never played in a tournament before. So she called my mom and said, do you have any kids over there that would be willing to play? And I think it was a 13 and under age bracket, 14 under probably. And I, mom said, sure. She's never played. She doesn't know how to score, but if you can help her with that, you, she'll do it. So I started playing. I actually won that tournament, luckily, and and that started me. Sure did. How about the coaching you received on the way? Of course, playing for Gary Keeler, that's got to be a great advantage to any player. But tell us about Coach Keeler and what he meant to your development. Um, Coach was always called lovingly Gear Bear, and he had a great, quiet leadership. He really would say a few words to make you really reflect on your game and make changes if he saw that you needed that. He didn't over-congratulate any player, and he didn't come after you if you weren't performing. But he would say a few things or give you a look, and you would know what you had to shift in your game. And I appreciated that. It wasn't high stress, and he never forgot what tennis was really about to some degree, which was having fun and eating a lot of food when you weren't playing. Sincerely. <laughs> oh, sounds like you had a great time. And of course, we mentioned going to state several times. What were those experiences like for you? Uh, state was a bit scary, playing at the Nielsen Tennis Arena down in Madison. It's a little intimidating coming from Marshfield where we have one indoor tennis court. But once you get used to it and you realize you have nothing to lose, um, boy, we always had such an enjoyable time. And we met some great people from other schools, a lot of good friends, still keep in touch with a few people that I played um, from various schools around the state. So it was really a kind of a nice camaraderie. To get to the point where you kind of expected to go down there, how did it, how did you handle that mentally being there four years in a row in terms of the pressure and the expectations you may have had? I don't recall hardly any pressure. I mean, we, unfortunately or fortunately, I'm not sure which, we dominated. I mean, we really didn't reflect on, oh, are we going to lose to this group? Or we, we didn't have any mind games. We just went out and played our game, and we were incredibly successful. So, and didn't feel the pressure going to state. I, I, I take that.
step back. I do remember getting seated my senior year. I was seated sixth in, or excuse me, I was seated eighth in state. And I thought, oh man, what did you do to me, coach? Now I have to perform. And he knew me better than I knew myself. I ended up getting sick. That's very good. Tell us about the, we've talked to some of the people tonight about women's sports or girls' sports back in that era when really it was just starting out. What was that like for someone just getting involved in girls' sports when it really was a, a new thing on the high school level? I probably came in right when it was um, at a good time in sports because uh, things were changing in when I was a, in junior high and all the sports were getting established. My freshman year, softball was finally available, fast pitch softball under Coach Kapleen. So I didn't necessarily know what life was before that. And I did know my sisters struggled with having anything to do extracurricular in, in athletics, just finding something to, to put their time into. But I think I just am the beneficiary of the Title IX and all the changes that happened. Okay. Now, also, you were involved in other sports. Tell us about some top moments in some of those other sports you played in. Wow. Well, basketball under uh, Coach Meyer should have gone to state my freshman year. Should have, could have, but we didn't. We ended up losing in the final second. So that was painful, but it, we had a good lineup of players, a good mix of tall, talented players, including Carla McClary and her sister Kathy, but then also John Lee Hildebrandt, some real talent. Um, so it was fun because you had the speed with some of the shorter small gals, and then you had the tall ones, and we did really well. We were quite successful, but we never got to that state. And then in a fast pitch, boy, we had some real talented gals, and we won the conference my senior year, and we got uh, just taken down, and I can't even recall by who. We didn't make it to state. We probably should have if we had been playing t at our top game, but we had a fantastic pitcher in Sean Nenas and a, gosh, a catcher, Pam Hazley, who was amazing, a great combination. Mm -hmm. And uh, you played some for some real interesting coaches there also between Hank Meyer and Pete Kaplan. Talk about uh, what they meant to your development. Pete Kaplan was a special coach, too. He, he was very strategic, um, would push us in many ways, <laughs> and kind of a... I can't even quite articulate, I guess, what his what was so special about his way, but he really would bring the team together so that they would play harder as a team and could perform at a higher level. Uh, Hank Myers, on the other hand, was kind of a cowboy out there. He would get us going, and he would kind of play our emotional buttons to make sure that we were really moving on the court, and he had a lot of success with that, too. We uh, just talked to Carlin, and certainly uh, she was a great basketball player. You probably saw her a lot. What did you think of her? her game and what, what were your thoughts of her watching her play basketball? Oh, Carolyn uh, is a gold standard really. She played with my sister Heidi. Um, Heidi was a senior with her and they were amazing out there. Carolyn had the talent of being able to shoot, being able to dribble, uh, being a leader on the court and she really ran the team. So she was very talented. Uh, wonderful for someone younger, a few years younger to sit back and watch and say, wow, that's how the sport's supposed to be played. Tell us about your athletic career after high school, after you left Marshall field. I made a conscious effort, a concerted effort maybe, to not do any additional athletics in college. Got a few calls, but it was not what I was focusing on. When I went to college, it was going to be about school. So, and, and you've done very well since then. Talk about your career after, after leaving Marshfield. Oh, I've had a very career. I got an undergraduate in Madison in food chemistry and went to work for some wonderful companies and got an MBA and went into marketing for Pillsbury and General Mills and just recently got my counseling degree and now I'm a therapist. So it's been a, a varied background and I've loved every part of that journey. Tammy Heckel inducted into the Marshfield Tiger Athletic Hall of Fame in the fall of 2006. This is Jean Delisio reporting for WDLB and WOSQ Sports.